So we are so lucky that we get to work together and we each come from such different contexts that um, help enrich the understanding of this topic of depression and suicide um, with adolescents. And I'm wondering if we can just each share a little bit about our backgrounds and what um, led us to this topic. Sure. Um, so I'm Sarah Farmer. Um, I work here at the Yale Center for Faith and Culture around the Theology of Joy project. But um, I think it's important to mention um, that I grew up in a inner city community, um, which was a very impoverished community. But interestingly enough, I didn't really encounter like depression and sadness in the way um, that we're talking about it. Um, I think my first real encounter with depression and sadness was when I started to work and teach in the prison context. And it became a really prominent theme. Um, it, it just flabbergasted me when I realized how many women had you know, attempted suicide and had um, been self-harmed with cutting and things like that. And then the second way it became really prominent is when I worked with Youth Hope Builders Academy and we had did this national research project and we surveyed youth really trying to understand what is the role of the black church in connecting with disconnected black youth. And one of the questions we asked is, what are the top three things that you struggle with? Once again, their responses were um, sadness and, and uh, loss and suicidal thoughts. Um, and then spiritual guidance was the third thing. But it was really um, interesting to me because for me as an African-American, that has always been taboo in our community. Mm -hmm. And so that's really what kind of brought me even to the Theology of Joy Project is really trying to explore um, what this means, uh, what joy means, particularly in the context of hope. So it's interesting. I feel like we have some commonalities in our background. Um, I come from a Latino background, um, half Puerto Rican and half Cuban. And in our community, certainly the sense of sadness or hopelessness was present, but it was viewed not in a diagnostic way that we're talk about it more now, but more in a way of how does the community support itself and mm. each other? Um, and really thinking that maybe this is something that I'm supposed to bear. Mm. Um, so really taking a look at it from a different perspective. Um, so I, I heard about it through my own cultural experience, um, but it wasn't until I came to Boston Children's Hospital when I was doing some more focused training around anxiety and depression and suicide prevention that I really was able to see such a broader um, array of contexts in which people were really contextualizing, understanding depression, mm. how it manifests differently for people, um, and how it was dealt with. Um, and, and that was quite different. Um, so then that work actually brought me to the point where I met Kate and we were able to work together particularly in addressing a, a series of um, tragic losses of youth mm -hmm. um, by suicide. And we worked very closely with the faith community, really trying to figure out how do we support people through times of crisis, but then later, how do you address not just the crisis, but everything in between that yeah. comes. Um, so I am really excited to be able to um, integrate the work that I've been doing with your experience and your context and your background um, to create something that's new and hopefully exciting to everybody that we're working with. Yes. And for me, I grew up in a, an affluent, primarily white uh, community that was extremely uh, success driven and um, intense in many ways. Um, and I later, after college, went back to the same community and led a youth group for a number of years where I saw um, adolescents from that community in so much pain, um, a lot of depression and, um, and anxiety, and unfortunately, um, a lot of suicide um, attempts and ideation, and um, unfortunately, completed suicides as well. Um, and I realized that the youth groups were a place that those kids were coming to look for support and help. And um, 
I later met Nadja at Boston Children's Hospital and continued my understanding and my training in um, working with adolescents and children with depression um, and suicide prevention. And I currently work in an inner city um, where most of my kids are um, from a different background from me. They are um, from African American and Latino communities, um, primarily lower income. Um, and what I'm seeing is the same pain with di different circumstances. Mm -hmm. And um, I, again, am, am really excited about the three of us working together and bringing our experiences and um, our understandings from our own communities and cultures in addition to the work that we're doing now to, uh, to help each other and, and everybody else understand more about uh, this topic.